They're in Portland, but those these arcades have gone to shit, so I don't really recommend it. It's it's mostly like redemption games now. Redemption games and raw thrills garbage. Our backup hasn't arrived yet. Might be a terrorist attack. Keep your eyes. What most arcades are now. I think this could take the door down. Except for good barcades and. <laughs> Ground shaking. And the round one I guess. What's that sound? Our backup. It can't be. Yeah, I was trying to break the, uh, that, that control panel on the door, like, gives you an alternate route, so. These are all the weapons I can find. What the heck are they doing here? Incoming! Yeah, barcades kind of work if you get the, if you get the clientele that's focused on, on drinking and food, which... That's not what I go to a barcade for, but I, I recognize that it's this is what keeps them in business. Yeah, the Nickel Arcade was pretty sweet when they when they had this for like 20 cents a play, DDR for 20 cents a play. On One of them even had Dance Maniac Second Mix, which was like 15 cents or something. That I missed that game. Come the fuck on. Taking stupid hits. Not destroy it. There we go. It's kind of hard to see. Like I didn't, I didn't know about it at first. Like it's one of those things. I don't know if I saw it in the video. It's not very obvious. That thing is back there. But this is like the the higher the higher scoring route. Oops, got him too early. That reset my my perfect streak. So when you start killing enemies with headshots, it like the first one says good, gives you a hundred points. The next one is excellent, gives you two hundred. Third one says amazing, gives you 300, and then four and above is always perfect and gives you 400 points. So, so playing this game for score requires you to keep that that perfect streak going as long as possible, which I did not do there. How was that not a headshot? Whatever. Maybe I should not. Uh, not get too focused on score and just try to get the ones to see. I was hoping one of them would push me back, but nope. No steppy that time. It can be like the way this game puts like so many enemies on the screen. It's kind of it's kind of hard to tell sometimes like which one is going to attack you because these games always are always set up so that like even though there's like six enemies in your face, only one of them is locked on at once. So you just kind of like look for the one that like actually like move starts moving and starts the starts the attack. Like it's they won't uh, they won't send like two or three enemies attacking you at once. It's always one at a time. And that's what makes this game. That's what makes this game fair. Just 
The only exception is when there's, like, uh, uh, dudes in the background throwing axes at you. The range attacks. Big guy. Destruction. Toss a grenade into the door. Almost got it. Alright, again, my score is kind of low, but I'm not going to worry about it. I think, like, the most points I've had at the end of stage one is, like, 98,000. Alright, not gonna fuck around and get grabbed again. <laughs> Since that backfired on me last time. It feels like a miracle, like, we even got, uh, we even got this port for the PS3, like, I'm glad we did. Okay. But it feels like Sega could have done more. They could have, they could have ported more things. Yeah, Virtua Cop 3 port would have been good. And the Ghost Squad sequel. But I don't... I don't think these games sold that well, and that's why they didn't really, uh... Didn't really want to do anything anything more with the PS Move. So off. I'm gonna have to recalibrate this. Where do you think you're going? There we go. Okay. He's dead. I'm just recalibrating the gun. Seems to happen a lot. Maybe that's why they didn't. <laughs> they didn't do much with this because this, this happens sometimes. This is exactly how it happened three years ago. I am not going to compare it to the latter game. Sorry. Is this game is good. Okay, back up to five lives. Should be okay. As much as I've played this game, though, it is always possible for is things to for things to go very wrong yeah. in some stages. There's something I need to look into. I can't shake the feeling that things didn't end like we thought three years ago. I'll help however I can, Jake. It's an honor to work with you. Try to believe we're underground, huh? There's also a complex series of sewers down here. <laughs> they had to bring up sewers to tell you that stage two is the sewer stage. Of course. Calibration is really off. What the fuck? Oh, 
That was the wrong guy. Okay, hold on. Why are you doing this to me, game? Seems fine earlier. Okay. Not want to take that hit. Okay, so I I don't shake it here, just to take an alternate route. Again, I'm going for going for higher scoring routes. Hey, that one. Let's look for the way out. Perfect screen going to. Oh, I didn't think it was a guy on the left. This part usually steals a hit or two. Or at least one hit. <laughs> I kind of expected that. There's a hidden room up here that I'm still not sure how to get to. You gotta toss a grenade. I don't know if I got it. Oh, I got it. Nice. Gives you the grenade back. So, I think the higher scoring route is the, the route on the right, but I don't like that route as much. Now, you, you, you wouldn't know to throw a grenade there. It's... it's some of the secrets in this game are kind of weird. Did I get the grenade back there? I think I did. Blowing up that explosive barrel resets the, the headshot chain, but I already, I already dropped it anyway. Ah, fuck. I'm gonna get back to the big guy. Okay, that's not good. We go in through here. Another secret up here that involves shooting this rock at the bottom. It flashes to tell you you got it. It's like a, a lock you can open right there. Which gives you a barrel that has a life up in it. Scripted knockdown. These guys, you can actually shoot their gas canisters to to blow them up instantly, but again, that resets your your head headshot chain. So it looks cool, but not good for stuff. Whoa! Dude ran forward, hell of a.
might get some information from the classified information room. I shouldn't have done that. I could have let more enemies come out. Shit. I was thinking of a, a later part where you have to, like, keep the thing open. Oh well. I'll blow him up. <laughs> Fuck it. My streak already got reset. It's always so dark. Looks like we can go up. At least there's power. An earthquake! An earthquake? It's too dangerous. Open that door. Now we're gonna have to jump. This is straight out of a movie I saw. Of course, you take damage there if you don't shake out of it. All right, second boss. Fuck it, throw a grenade at it, why not? Grenades can't actually do damage to bosses. It can be helpful on some on some attacks. Spider Town. This phase early before the force to shake out. I think just fucked up the calibration again. This one you just kind of stay centered. Shoot it when you have an opening. Easy. I can't abide being an action hero. Oh. Oh yeah, the way the grading works. I oh, said amazing, perfect, perfect. To get the S rank, you have to get uh, at least 70% accuracy for the perfect rating. That is really fucking hard if you're going for headshots because, like, a lot of your shots are gonna miss when you're going for headshots. Don't you see? Humans have set themselves upon the path to inevitable destruction. So S ranks in this game are—you really have to try for them. The S rank does give you two lives instead of one, but. It's hard to balance out accuracy and score. It's broken. I think we can head through here. Looks like we've ended up in a subway system. That's the station up ahead. Let's That's the go. station up ahead. Well, at least we're getting a warm welcome. This stage is kind of a pain in the ass. These, these zombies are kind of a kind of a pain to get headshots on because they they hunch over, so their heads aren't aren't as high up, and it's easy to it's easy to accidentally hit their body instead of the head. So I'm gonna I drop the chain all the time on them. Try not to worry about it too much. Oh, that was not a headshot. Oh, 
Also, when they actually attack, they, they attack kind of quickly. So sometimes it's hard to tell, like, which one is actually, like, locked on. Another new enemy. It's no use. This way is blocked. This way, too. And I've got no reception. There's nobody here. Oh. Guys with the axes, I like to shoot them once uh, to make them drop their drop their guard because they're usually covering their head. Should we take the escalator? Okay, you can actually get an alternate route here if you what? if you don't shake out of this. Usually, when enemies do this, this damages you, but this one doesn't for some reason. Lock on. I don't know. Who's that one? Be on the toilet. Dropping so many perfects. Okay. There's a health up right here. It's kind of hard to get though. That one. It's random which uh, which container they put it in. Got time to get the secret over here. Got it. I threw the grenade too late. I was gonna see if I could take those out without the grenade. Okay, we're going down. Shit. No step. Okay. It's gonna knock me down again. God, this stage is so dark. Oh, that's good, that's good. Move them back, move them back. Whenever you see them put both hands out like that, just let them grab you. Because then if you if you shake them back, it pushes them all back. Gives you more time to figure out who to shoot at. You barely see it, but there's a life up back there. Uh-oh. I didn't kill those guys. Oh, well. Oh, he was about to—he was about to grab on. I should have let him grab me. What should we do? It's dangerous, but we've got no time. Get it. What the heck is that? Right, subway boss. The Empress. Oh, no. Run! It starts with force shaking. No, it's... Okay. I shook so hard, it's not actually... Nice. Good God. Fucking PlayStation thing. One CC no longer valid. Okay. Oh my God, they fucked up already. Yeah, this game freaks out if the camera can't find it, but that tends to happen when you're you're fucking shaking the, the controller like crazy. Yeah, now my calibration's fucked up. I can never unfuck it long enough. Oh, 
unauthorized transfer point. This isn't an authorized transfer point. I'm so mad about that. I always use that. I always use a grenade on the next phase. I got like five. I can use them. four. I not want to take two hits there. Also another another good line. Looks like just My favorite. Yeah, this game's pretty stupid sometimes. <laughs> I didn't even get a perfect rating on Critical Shot. Still enough for the A grade, though. Looks like you're not a top agent for nothing. Alright, looks like I've still got it. That's how many times my wars and famines. My headshot streaks were getting getting broken. Increasingly frequent natural disasters. Don't you find it odd? A bit coincidental? Has anyone even noticed? Must we simply sit and wait for it all to end? Goldman's very talky. Where'd everyone go? Let's just hope they all manage to evacuate. Hope? So you really think there's still hope? Yeah. There's no turning back now. Hope is the theme of this game. Like Yakuza 5 was dream. Looks like we can get <laughs> out here. Skill a hit here. This stage is actually, I think, the shortest stage. It also only has like one life up you can get. Oh, new enemies. Yeah, this part you actually have to shoot the guy like holding the thing open. Otherwise, he closes it, which makes you go a different way, which I do not want to go. I want to go this way. Let's shoot these red things. Red boxes. Why am I not hitting these guys? How have I not done enough damage to you? That was a secret. And then there's a life up in one of these red boxes. Maybe it's already there? That's that last one. Who hit me? I thought both of those were headshots. I have so many problems getting headshots on these these hunched over guys. We can make it to the outside from here. Into the city. It's impossible to tell from here. Damn, they found us. Man, I'm not getting headshots to save my life.
I just kind of hope for a headshots on the on the flying enemy. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Watch out! Ah, tubby. Oh shit! Ready for that face? Okay. <laughs> Jeez. The next phase, I've never been able to stop this without a grenade. At least throw the grenade up his butthole and that does a big chunk. I have done no damage to his life bar. Perfects here. Then I dropped it. Oh my god, I can't hit anybody in the head. Looks like we can go up. Don't stop this phase, he punches you in the face. After all that, this is what ends up killing the boss. <laughs> Died to the quick time event. Temper this, buddy. <laughs> you should be able to so see angry. the city up ahead. This is it. Oh <laughs> this game God. is very stupid. But in a endearing way. Oh no. Everything's fucked. Life bonus. Life bonus. Looks like you're not a top agent for nothing. Looks like I've still got it. Again, I didn't get perfect rating on critical shot. So many combo drops. At some point in time, humans broke the natural harmony of the world. They came to know greed like no other species. They gave no thought to what their rampant breeding would do to the world. So the way House of Dead 3 was like heavily heavily involved with House of Dead 1. Kate, don't give up hope. House of Dead 4 is more has more in common with two. Especially the last two stages. To my dear AMS. Dear. Agents, everything's set. I knew you were behind this. There's something else we must do. I think I have an idea where to start. Let's go. The heck is Because this area was, was a stage in House of the Dead 2. Time. Leave the driving to me. They even brought back a car. Target A0063. Yep. A0063. 
all over again. Oh god! That oh, really fast. It's okay, I can get my my health back. I don't like going for the headshot on this guy. You have to like wait a bit. Especially now that I took a hit. These guys with their shadow dodges are really annoying. Yeah, I think. Uh oh. Ah, oh, fuck. Shadow guys first, alright. And then it's just headshots on parade. Grenade bonus! Life up over here. How's that? Life bonus! an enemy disappears in there. This place hasn't changed since the last time. God, it's so hard to get that shot. Yeah, this... Where this part should look very familiar if you played House of the Dead, too. It for me. It's where everything started. Golden building. I've done that. Oh. Should have let him shake back. Okay, luckily there is health right here. Gotta get this. Okay, good, 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 good. good. It's kind of a tough group. Never thought I'd come back to the Goldman building. These robot enemies, we can actually shoot them in the chest for the instead of the head. It's almost like we're being so at this point you fight magician in the second game, but. Instead, you fight this awful, awful boss. I hate this guy because sometimes he he'll fly around and like start one of his attacks off screen, which is kind of cheap. Doesn't give you enough time to like stop it. So far, so good, though. Uh-oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he didn't even go up into the air. Wow. Spin and win time. Okay, another spin and win. And dead. And for some reason on this PlayStation 3 port, the audio gets all fucked up here. He keeps making grunting noises. James! Oh, 
worry about me. It's so. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> it still happens. Looks like you're not a top agent for nothing. All right. Looks like I've still got, got a tummy ache. All right, final stage. Earth has evolved in a way so that it naturally regulates the population of any given species. Humans were once subject to this system, regardless of whether or not they knew it. <laughs> Pandora's box is opening. Is that all you have to say, Goldman? What was the other guy's name? Gary? James and Gary. That guy never shows up again in the series. Alright. Robots. So I missed the bonus room in House of Dead 3 where you have to... You have to save your partner every time to get a bonus room for the last boss. In this game, they actually made it easier. Well, easier in quotes. To get the bonus room, all you have to do is... is get to this point on one credit. Or at least get to the very end. And they'll just, they'll just give you some lives for free for the, for the last boss. I kind of like that you don't have to worry about saving saving your partner, or saving hostages, or any of that bullshit. Just, just shoot stuff. Don't die. Uh oh. Okay, shoot the eye right here. Ah, I missed the health. I think he needs to hire a new deck. That's right. Did I get the bonus room? There's like a second bonus room. You shoot that the eye on that dragon. I think I got it. If you go to the right, you get the bonus. Okay, I got it. Also, maybe I should have said stage four was, was short, because this stage is really short. Although then there is the final boss. All right, bonus room. Nice. It's hard to get all of them, but it's a decent bonus. And has been hacked. There's nothing I can do to stop it. What? If you were able to make it this far, there is yet still hope. Hope? Okay. This game has been pretty long. As far as light gun games go, this game is pretty long. And this this final boss does not uh, does not help things. This stupid ice fly. Gee, where's this weak point? I wonder. Kate, this is it. Give it all you got. Give it all you got. Of course, it's that thing in the middle. Okay, when he makes the ice axe, you gotta shoot the ice axe really fast. That's like the most dangerous attack if you don't know about it. 
The rest of these, like, you can pro usually shake out of, like this one. If you can't stop the, the ice. But the ice axe, you kind of have to know about it ahead of time. You can't shake out of that. You can't shake out of getting hit in the face with a giant ice axe. Yeah, you're you're forced to shoot this boss to uh oh to deplete the health. You don't really stop the cancel phases. You can get hit on that. Oh, uh, we're at final phase already. Sometimes I'll try to damage him with grenades here, but it usually doesn't work. All right, should be able to get to the next phase. Phase two. But I don't think you can shake out of anything here. All these attacks you have to you have to stop them. It's ice dragon time. Alright, spiral boy. Random, like what order he does these attacks in. And another spiral boy. Just, uh, alternating one again. He hasn't done the other attack yet. Push him to final phase? I did. I didn't even do the other guy. Oh wait, no, this is the uh Okay. Never mind. This is not the final phase. I was waiting for this one. Okay. Yeah, now we're at final phase. He's just gonna keep repeating this one. That one's kind of annoying, you just have to like know where the dragon's going ahead of time. You know what to do though? Not too bad. Come on, come on. Got it. <sighs> Only two cycles of that. That was good. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Heidi. But uh, there's one thing with that statement that's factually wrong. Oh wait, phase three. Can't be here. We must close Pandora's box now or never. James, what are this you? is our last hope. This is gonna blow up my PDA. Kate, don't give up hope. I mean, he could have just thrown the PDA and had the the satellite fire a laser, but. No, got to make it dramatic. James. What should I do? <laughs> Yo, Ann Kay, thank you for the, for the 55, 56 years.
you very much for the resub. Yeah, I gotta make it dramatic. So if you do... I think if you... I don't know the criteria, but I think if you finish the game on one credit, you get, uh... You get one of two possible endings. Possible stingers at the end. I'll see which one I get. I hope I get the G ending. James, it's yep. not over yet. We'll fight this back to the source. It's time for you to rest now, James. James, what are you doing with your thumb? Or, G, what are you doing with your thumb? The story continues in House of Dead 3, <laughs> which I just played. <laughs> Whoops. What was my score? Like 423? 422. I think I did better than Logan. I think I did better than Logan. They got Rogan's name wrong. They called him Logan. Rogan can't get no respect. Yeah, the uh, this game takes place before House of Dead 3, like 16 years before. This game takes place in 2003. Like, House of Dead 1 takes place in 98, House of Dead 2, 2000, this game 2003. I think Scarlet Dawn is like 2006? 